Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Sunday, July 22nd, 2012. And we're in the studio with Chicago's very own The Right Now.
baby I'm taking it all <laughs> Shit is moving. That's like the Funk Brothers meets the MGs meets Josh Stone meets Chaka Khan. <laughs> Very nice, y'all. We'll it's beautiful it. to have you here. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. There. Yeah. Hey, I'd love to hear about your earliest musical memory from each of you in regards, to, you know, your childhood, your youngness. Maybe it was a record somebody played you or somebody gave you an instrument. I got one word on that. I got Sinatra. Yeah. I grew up with so much Sinatra. Yeah, your My family's gosh. playing Sinatra everywhere. Yeah. No, did you go ever get to see him live or anything? No, like I that? missed a really good chance. It was Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald, uh, Sammy Davis Jr., and all these other people. And I was like eight years old, and my folks were like, we'll take you to Radio City Music Hall, and you can see this. And I was like, you know, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I'm good. Hey, the least you knew about the gear when it happened. Yeah, you know? yeah. Right on. <laughs> Who's ready? Who else? Steph? I've got uh, Whitney has to be my, um, my favorite. And yeah. I, a musical memory I have is actually a dream I had. I used to always dream of going see, to see Madonna. And my parents never let me when I was younger. So in my mind, I went to a Madonna concert <laughs> at one point. Nice. So those are mine too. That's rad. Yeah. You can still see Madonna. She's I still kicking it. It's not the same as like a virgin now, though, is it? No. It's all different. Thank God. How about you, Brandon? Um, my first career? would be uh, my parents dancing around the kitchen table to Hall & Oates' Man Eater. Yeah. So. <laughs> Best sax house solo ever. Nice. Probably. It's got a funky <laughs> groove, too, on that. Yeah, so, and, and Beatles, for sure. Every Sunday morning at my house was Breakfast with the Beatles, which is still on XRT here. Um, Wicked. So, 
Nice. You like the old Beatles or the newer Beatles? I like it all. It's so, all good. That's a great answer. How about you, Greg? Your earliest musical memory? Uh, I don't know about the earliest, but one thing I definitely remember is the first time my parents took me to a record store. Yeah. yeah. So, but they're both musicians, and, but and they they actually let me and my brother pick out anything we wanted. ACDC, Dirty <laughs> Deeds, Dunder Cheap, and they actually I give my parents a lot of credit for just like sticking to the plan and letting me take that album home at the tender age of like six. Wow. <laughs> Now, did you just shred it? Did you go home and play it as loud as your little record player would go? Or? Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, that that I wore four copies of that record out a long That's time great. ago. Yeah, That's a pretty heavy first record album. I guess. I guess. You gotta love that. Dig it. How about you, John? Earliest musical memory, man? Uh, saw the Beach Boys on my eighth birthday. Yeah. The what? Beach Boys on your eighth birthday? Where was that at? The Fox Theater in Detroit. Oh, in Detroit. Michigan. Yeah, man. That's in the heart of it all, too. That must have been something else. Yeah. Something like it was, that. It was. I have no recollection of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Except that you went. But I, I do like the Beach you were Boys. There. He's he, he was there. <laughs> Dope. Dope. All right, you, Jim. How about you? Earliest musical memory. Uh, okay, my my earliest musical memory is uh, "She Drives Me Crazy" by Fine Young Fine Cannibals. Young. Yeah. <laughs> the video the or video, just like the song on the radio? No, the no, my, my mom had the tape in her car and she'd pick me up every day after work and we'd jam that like 10 times at least. That's oh, rad, oh, man. Yeah. I like the Fine Young Campbells. You know, they evolved from a bunch of great bands and that first record they did was really good. The second one was She Drives Me Crazy and all the stuff, but the first one had like the Suspicious Minds cover. And Whoa. Yeah, that's right. It was a little bit, you know, it was like the specials guys yeah. did something dope. Right on. How about you, Jonathan? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with my mom busting into my bedroom on my birthdays and singing the Beatles happy birthday to me yeah. just like and man I think I hated every second of it, but you know <laughs> I, I look back on it fondly now. So. Yeah, you look back on that's some that's wonderful man It's all about the love The love the love you take is evil to the love you make Yeah, definitely. We're in the studio with the right now. Thanks for being here y'all
The right now, Audio Tree Live. Unbelievable, y'all. You guys have the perfect soul tincture. That was like India Davenport and brand new heavies. You guys are yeah, yeah. sickness, man. Absolutely. Shabu to that. <laughs> hey, I, I hope you guys can tell me about how the city inspires you and how it, the role that it plays in this band and, you know, maybe the recording process for the new record, how that all worked out. It's a lot of stuff to dig into. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can glean we'll just we'll a little it. bit off of there. Um, I think the city particularly, we take a lot from the soul tradition, both, you know, Curtis Mayfield and all the uh, the Twinite, the Sil Johnson stuff, Donny Hathaway that's been, you know, chess records all the way back to that has sort of infused um, some of our older school stuff, but definitely R. Kelly and the contemporary R&B that's coming out of Chicago. I mean, our our sort of group listening happens on the weekends on V103. Herb Kent, who's this you know 80 year old DJ who's been around yeah. for a long, long time, um, you know, spins some that. of the He's best records. Yeah, What's I mean. that? He's a legend, man. He's, yeah, yeah, amazing. And it's just a great soundtrack um, for for the weekends. Um, specifically with with I think recording the last record, this gets over you. We went out to LA and recorded it in a week with um, Sergio Rios from the band Orgone. Yeah, um, and it was great. It was tiny a room smaller than this uh hot and sweaty no ac lots of tecate lots of tacos and, uh, <laughs> right that's la yeah it was awesome dig it did you did you have a, a good pro, a good you know experience recording it that fast or was that just the perfect amount of time um i didn't i don't think we knew what was going to happen we'd spent um pretty much the year up until last august of uh so eight months just shedding in our rehearsal space, trying to um, prepare to go out and record this record. And, you know, we didn't know if we'd get four or five done, and we ended up getting all 11 done um, nice. in that in that six days. I mean, it was intense. It was 14, 16-hour days, um, yeah. and not, no sleep the last night particularly. <laughs> right. But it was amazing. Um, it, was, it was just a really, you know, we spent a lot of time together already, but I think that really cemented a lot of bonds for us. Awesome, Brendan. Thank you for sharing, man. Any, anybody else have any more to add in there? I'm not going to do any better than that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Thanks for being here, you guys. Yeah. It's lovely to have you in the studio. The music's really moving my soul, man. Oh, good. For real. Thanks, buddy. Been acting like no.
fucking <laughs> off, baby. All right, we've reached the psychoanalytical portion of the session. And I'd love to hear from each of you that if you had to pick a life form other than human being, what life form would you choose to be? The earth is alive, rocks are alive, the oceans, the forests, everything is alive. Nice. A bird. Yeah, didn't we just yeah. have this I don't conversation even care about a bird? I don't even care which kind of bird. Yeah, just, do you reckon, would you want to be in a cold place or a warm place? Oh, a warm place. So, yeah. like, let's just go seagull. Cool. Just call it even, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, man. Sure. There you go, Chris. I like that. Thanks, man. Is anybody else ready? I'm going to go with Jim rock. Jim what would you be? I'm I like rock. fox. Brennan, you're a rock? <laughs> yeah, Jim's a fox. I'll be a rock. <laughs> a rock and a fox. We, we had a friend in college who had this uncanny ability to, like, pinpoint your spirit animal. Yeah. So he was the fox. He was the fox. He was the fox, and I was the penguin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Penguins and foxes. I like it. Steph, what about you? Um, well, Chris picked mine. Um, I would say, I mean, flying too. is pretty cool. Um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe like a mermaid or something. That'd be there pretty you rad. Go, see. Yeah, you're digging <laughs> the mermaid, right? Like a little ocean. Yeah. Be like some mystical being, you know? Yeah. That's dope. All right, Greg, you're up. Oh, man. I'm dying to hear that. this. You really? <laughs> kind of. Really? Yeah. So, like, Mr. Bubbles isn't, like, part of the natural world, right? <laughs> no, you can be Mr. Bubbles. I could Bubbles. be Mr. Bubbles? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I love this show. That's I do. Weird. You are that, the man. Thank you so much, man. That's no, that's the shoes right there. He's all clean. He's making yeah, kids man. happy and stuff. Right. Like shiny, Wait, what? You know? Who's Mr. Bubbles? Mr. Mr. Bubbles. You know Mr. Bubbles? Greg is Mr. Bubbles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm over here. All right, come on now, John. You're being quiet over there. Uh, what life form would you choose to be if you could pick a life form other than human? I, I, got, I got nothing right now. All right, we'll just Wasn't go with you'll be that, that Beach Boys concert in Detroit that you went to. <laughs> you'd be the stage, the wood on the stage or something from like a, you know, a tree. Okay, yeah, we, we can roll with that. Dope. <laughs> Sounds good. We're in the studio with the right now lovely today. Thanks for being here, you guys. Thank you. Baby, I ran into you
hearing someone name in the backseat I looked close I saw you in the clothes that you wore since last year got chops Steph's singing her ass off but nobody's overplaying you guys are all letting the music breathe and everything sit it sounded lovely man oh stop you guys already know that though I'm sure all right check this out if y'all had a time machine where would you go not necessarily to right a wrong or you know create you know fix an injustice just just where would you go to check it out I'd go to the future 
Yeah, where would you go? Hundred years. Yeah, Jim, hundred years up there. Yeah. Dig it. What do you think it would be like? Would it be like Blade Runner, or would it be better? <laughs> I, I have no idea. I would be really curious to see what the music is like a hundred years in the future. Dig it. Yeah, I have no idea. Everything's out of tune. It'll probably go back to like electronic dance music will take over, and then it'll go back to the bucket drumming or whatever, you know, something like that. Anybody else want to travel anywhere? Go someplace. Johnny Hats, where would you go? I don't know, man. That's like, it's like when you buy a whole bunch of groceries and you open up your fridge that night, <laughs> you just too many options, you know? Right? Uh, That's a good thing to have, though. It's good, you know. So it means a lot of choices. Something. <laughs> That's his thinking face. Oh, man, that was tough. <laughs> Chris, Greg, anybody ready? I really want to go to India, you know. Yeah. So if you got some money for me, just lay it on me, and I'll buy that. No, that's still want to go check out Thank Gandhi you. in India, like, uh, or just go to India now. Yeah, I just want to go to India, and, India and eat. I think just eat my way yeah. to India. Basically. <laughs> dude, you can come up to my crib in West Rogers Park, dude. It's almost like eating oh, in India man. out there. Oh man, Garib Nawaz. Yeah, dude. I'm Garib like Nawaz. a half a block from that mug. Really? The poor that place. Prince. Yes, yes, yes. Man, that's they do place. not answer their phone though. Like you know, you want to like place an order and pick it up. No, they no, just, they do. You got to go. Phone. In that no, mug, they don't answer dude. the phone when you call. Oh, is that they answer right? the phone when I call. Okay. I <laughs> you get the gringo like call. They're like, oh, it's like. <laughs> They're like, no, get in line. You know? But then it's only like three bucks for like a feast. Yeah, I know. That place Plus, they don't want your name, your phone number, anything. You show up and they're like, what did you order? And they're like, Your oh, hat. it's that cat. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. <laughs> so we're here to promote Garib Nawaz, Garib Nawaz. On, on Devon. I love it. Yeah, the poor giving right. prince. Traveling forward <laughs> through time <laughs> to, to Garib Nawaz. To this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> One minute per minute. <laughs> Greg wants it. to go to this afternoon, so he can be How about at, you, Chris? Where would you go, man? Um, there's a lot of places, but I think I always wanted to be around at, like, the turn of the 20th century and just see what it was like when they were discovering... Uh, uh, dinosaur fossils and just have everyone be like, whoa, whoa, whoa what? Yeah. I kind of want to see like what pre industrial like. revolution there. Like, yeah. Or Cohen, yeah, like right around or like, like right the beginning of it. I'll say, like, you know, I'll plant me down in like 1890 and I'll just ride it out from there <laughs> for a while. Yeah. I like that. See some, some dinosaurs make their appearance. <laughs> what about you, Jonathan? Uh, you know, I, I think I'm going to go with Jim on this one. Like, the future is where it's at. But I kind of want to see, like, if we make it off the planet, really. You know, like, space is the place. Yeah, like Sun Ra and shit? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, we're, this this thing's kind of heading for self-destruction, so I'm curious if we actually, like, work out that big colony ship and make it out of here. I want to find out. Dang it. Like The Last of Us or whatever. How about you, Brandon? <laughs> um, I just uh, watched uh, The Pacific, you know, that HBO. It's like Band of Brothers kind of thing. Right. And, uh... Yeah, I think I'd like to go just be plopped down either into World War II or into the Pacific. My grandfather was over there as well, and it just, it's like, uh, it's such a trip to think that all those, you know, people were over there killing each other. <laughs> right? Our, our grandfathers, that's a different breed of human being. It is. It totally those is. Those guys were hardcore you know, dudes. Man. I don't know anyone that would, like, you know, want to sign up for the military. You know, maybe well, it was just a different culture yeah, back then. It, it was, it really you know, is. valor and yeah. all of that. Not that so, that doesn't exist today, because it does, but it's just different. It's very know? different. So I guess I just would like to be plopped down, you know, in that time period and just see, like, what that what that whole... Just to be of, in a... Would you want to do fighting, or would you just want to be in a foxhole I'd just chilling? like to observe. No, <laughs> no, I don't want to fight. <laughs> right on. Make love, not war, baby. Yeah, for sure. All right, Greg. We're, sorry, we're coming to you. Or it's not Greg. Excuse me. John, we're coming to you last, man. What do you, what, where would you go, baby? Uh... <clears throat> Uh, fuck, I don't know. You'd go to that Beach Boys concert. Yeah, I'd go you? back to that Beach Boys concert. Uh, stick with that. And, uh, Will you get a recording of John saying Beach Boys concert and then just play that every time? Beach <laughs> Boys. Yeah, that's that's what I got. Right on. We're in the studio with the right now. Y'all have one more for us? We have two more if you'd let us. Oh, heck, let's hook it up. Hey, let's give a big shout out to our video crew here today, Jane, Justin, and Sean. Our audio engineers, Patrick and John. Adam's in the house. Yeah. Much love, everybody. Thanks for being here right now. It's great to have you here. Thanks for having us. I'm going to start this one for you guys. <laughs> <laughs>
Audio Tree Live, unbelievable. Stephanie, Chris, Brendan, Greg, Jim, Jonathan, John. Thank you all so much for sharing your music Thanks with us today. Us. You thank you, thank you. something special, and uh, you know we're privileged to be here with you. Thank you guys so much. This has been Audio Tree Live for Sunday, July twenty second, two thousand twelve. We've been in the studio with the right now. Check them on. Hey, where, where's your website? Hit our audience where they can check your shit. Three guesses. <laughs> the right now dot com, there baby. It, it sounds so much sexier when you say it. There too. we go. The right now. <laughs> Beautiful again, you guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. My name is DJ Evil Vince. Everybody have a safe and beautiful day. This has been Audio Tree Live. Cheers. Good night. Yeah. Woo. Mm.